That was a fail. We're not eating this. And we filmed it. And we filmed it. And we filmed it. And we filmed it. Shanti here, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. Make sure y'all join the family, join the game by hitting that red subscribe button. And also make sure y'all hit that post notification bell because you do not want to miss what your girl got cooking up next. Okay. For today's video, we are going to be trying viral TikTok food hacks, okay? I'm very surprised I'm doing this video, okay? Because for one, I'm very picky. I don't like trying new things. As y'all seen by my last, was it my last video? Might have been my Starbucks video, not sure. But I don't like trying new foods. I don't like mixing foods together. I don't like doing any of that. But that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. So your girl is a little bit mm, standoffish about it, okay? But we just going to go ahead and get into it. But before I get started, make sure I go ahead and share with a friend, join the family, join the game, and turn on that post notification bell. Which one do I want to try first? Okay. Um. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try the ones that I don't wanna try to the ones I really wanna try. So we're gonna do from least to greatest. Yeah, yeah. So for the first one, we have salt and we have cheese. Now y'all probably thinking, <laughs> what am I gonna make with this? Okay. So I went ahead and got me a piece of foil because I do need foil for this because I have to put this stuff into the oven. So let me go ahead and preheat the oven to, I think it was 275 that it said on the TikTok. So I'm just gonna go ahead and preheat that so it can be ready to go. So I am making cheeses. And what you're supposed to do, you are supposed to take your favorite kind of cheese, American, Kobe Jack, Pepper Jack, Provolone, you, mozzarella, you can get what you wanna get, okay? But me, I'm American, okay? We traditional, okay? And they said to cut it into fours, like cut it into fours, but I'm gonna just rip it. You can do how many you like. I'm just doing two slices because I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. So we just gonna do two slices. So now it calls for sea salt because you can't just eat cheeses without salt. Like you gotta have some kind of seasoning on it. But me, I don't have sea salt. It calls for sea salt. So I'm just gonna use regular salt. And then I am just gonna, oop, I almost forgot to step. You need a straw, okay? So I'm just going to use this Chick-fil-A straw that I just so happen to have in the drawer. I am just going to poke little holes in the center like how they did. I feel like these are like that big. After poking the holes in them, I am just gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of salt on top all right so now i just literally put these in the oven for like a couple of minutes and then let them cook y'all what is this what is this and who <laughs> that was a fail we're not eating this um Definitely would not recommend doing this. Um, so yeah, now the house smells like cheese. So, do your out of All right, you guys, so for the next TikTok food house, we are trying the Jolly Rancher Jello fruit or whatever. She kind of sort of just washed them off a little bit and then poured a little bit of Jello um, Jello mix on top and then just popped them in the freezer just to, you know, just get that coating on top of them. So I am gonna go ahead and open this up. And I couldn't find like my favorite kind of jello. So I just got the Jolly Rancher kind. So yeah. I'm gonna just sprinkle like a little bit in here. And I'm gonna just shake it around. All right, y'all, so this is what it looks like. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and just put them in the freezer for a little second. All right, you guys, so it has been a good 15 minutes in the freezer, and this is what they look like, pretty frozen. So let's go ahead and try it. And this um, Jello mix stuff is supposed to be Jolly Rancher, so. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Let's just show y'all. And this is what the strawberry looks like. So let's try the strawberry. Oh, that's sensitive tea. Mm -mm. But no, it's really good. Both of them. 10 out of 10 for both. All right, yeah, so for the next viral TikTok food hack, we are going to be doing a fruit roll up with ice cream. As you can see, she literally just unraveled it, put some ice cream in the center of it, and then just put it in the freezer. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up this ice cream. So pretty much for this one, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and open this up. And I'm gonna grab you a fruit roll up. I am just gonna scoop some ice cream in the center, like this right here. And honestly, this might be too much ice cream, but we'll make it work. I have nothing but like Jolly Rancher like flavor in my mouth right now. So you're supposed to like close it, close it up like this. If it lets me. All right, you are supposed to close it up like this and then put it in the freezer for a few minutes. So I'm just gonna put it on this plate then I'm gonna put it in here. All right, you guys, so our little snack should be done by now. It's very solid and I have sensitive teeth so I'm praying that I can actually bite into this, okay? But let's go ahead and just get into it because I feel like I'm just rambling, so. I mean, if you like fruit roll-ups and ice cream, I will definitely recommend for you. But me, I'm not really a fan. I'm literally just trying to get the ice cream from out the center. I'll probably just give this a four. Not really a big fan. All right, you guys, so for the fourth viral TikTok food hack, we are trying pickles. And I can already assume that y'all know what I'm trying to mix it with. Cotton candy, okay. If you didn't see, I'm not sure how long ago it was posted, but I think Diero had posted a picture of her eating a pickle with cotton candy on it. I'm like, mm, I don't know about that, but I do want to try it. I've been wanting to try it for the longest. So I just got me some fluffy cotton candy with some pickles. I mean, I'll try to like insert a picture if I can find the picture because I think it was like a very long time ago when she posted it. But yeah, she had took a pickle and she wrapped the entire pickle with cotton candy and she said it was good. So Air D said it was good, so we're gonna try it. I'm gonna get me a fork. Yep, I'm gonna get me a fork. Just go like that. And I'm going to open up my cotton candy and just try to like wrap it around. And really, the more the better, because I feel like if you don't put enough, all you're gonna taste is a bunch of pickle. So I'm gonna just try to wrap the whole thing. This is what the pickle looks like. The candy is starting to literally melt on it already, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try it. Okay. Pull it out, bruh. <laughs> Hold on a second, bruh. When I say boy ain't no way, boy, am I tripping? Cause why is it good? Bro. 
Y'all know I'm not lying because this whole thing is almost wrong. Yeah. Definitely snap. All right, you guys, so for our last and final viral TikTok food hack, we do have air fried Oreos. So here, all they're doing is just pretty much just taking a few Oreos, putting them in some pancake batter, popping them in an air fryer, which is right behind me right here, and voila. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a bowl. And then this pancake mix right here is the one that, um, the one that needs water. Me personally, I don't do measurements. I just pour some in the bowl and then I just add as much water that I think I'll need. I am going to put a little bit of brown sugar into my pancake mix. So the pancake mix is pretty much done. Like I said, um, I put a little bit of brown sugar in it just to give it like a little twist, you know, being a little bit spontaneous. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm probably just gonna do maybe like four, four Oreos maybe. So I brought you guys a little bit closer so you can see. So I'll just drop that Oreo in there and I'm just going to put it around in the batter. And then one more time, and I'm just going to go and put it one in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these into the air fryer. And then I'll probably just put them on. Whoa. I'll probably just watch them at 350 for 10 minutes. All right, and we'll see after the 10 minutes are done. All right, you guys, so the air fried Oreos are officially done. They do look pretty good. Um, this is them up close and personal. The, the bottom of the air fryer like took off, like the bottom off, but that's fine. But um, yeah, they look really good. So let's go ahead and give them a try. In the TikTok, they put powdered sugar on top, but I don't have powdered sugar. That's the reason why I did put the, um, the brown sugar into the pancake mix. So let's go ahead and try it. Mm. Mm hmm Yeah. These are really good. They literally taste like brownies. Alright, you guys, so that is the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. We tried the cheese. Well, we didn't try the cheeses, okay, because that was a fail. But you can always try it at home. I will go ahead and drop like all of the like the links to the TikTok so y'all can go ahead and check them out and see if you guys want to try it at home. But we attempted, we're gonna say attempt. We attempted to do the Cheez-Its. We did the Jolly Rancher flavored Jello with the fruit. That was really good. Um, we also did the, I'm trying to think. We also did the Jolly Rancher flavored fruit roll up with ice cream. Um, it's a little bit too sweet for me. I don't really, I didn't really like the Jolly Rancher flavored fruit roll up so if it was a regular fruit roll up then i probably would have liked it but we also tried that um and then we got into the cotton candy pickle that was so good i've been pretty excited to try that one but yeah that one was super duper good um we also tried for the last and final one the air fried oreos those are super duper good they literally just taste like mini brownies to me but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said before, make sure you guys share with a friend, join the family, join the gang, and make sure I hit that post notification bell because you do not want to miss what your girl got cooking up next. Okay. And as always, I will go ahead and see y'all in the next one. Bye.